8 News, Richmond's only station to win the Edward R. Murrow Award for overall excellence in news. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being with us. We begin in the Weather Center tonight. I'm Nate Eaton along with Tim Pantages. It's been one of those days where you want to stay inside and just yeah, stand Yeah, especially if you live to the... Continuing coverage now on the Colorado Movie Theater mass shooting. Tonight, federal and local authorities continue to disarm the booby-trapped apartment of the alleged shooter. ABC News reporter Brandy Hitt has the latest. Tonight, we're getting a closer look at the series of events that led up to the attack. Moments before the 1205 shooting, authorities say that James Holmes takes his seat inside the movie theater. He goes in there along with everybody else and the previews begin to roll and the movie begins. Shortly after the opening credits, Holmes appears to get a phone call. He leaves through an emergency exit and props open the door. Once outside, he dresses himself in a bulletproof vest, a ballistic helmet, and a gas mask. Police say Holmes then goes back inside, approaches the front of the theater, and hurls two gas canisters before firing shots into the crowd. At 12.39, the first calls to 911 are made. Six minutes later, around 12.45, Holmes is arrested near his car. We're also learning more about those killed in the attack. Again, the youngest victim, as far as we know, is a six-year-old girl. Her mother was also shot. She survived. Aspiring sportscaster 24-year-old Jessica Gwawi was among the dead. Her last tweet, written Thursday night, quote, movie doesn't start for 20 minutes. 27-year-old Alex Sullivan was also killed. He was at the movie celebrating his birthday and wedding anniversary. He also sent a message on Twitter Thursday night that says, oh man, one hour till the movie, and it's going to be the best birthday ever. More victims' names are expected to be released through tonight. Well, four major Hollywood studios are joining Warner Brothers in withholding their box office numbers this weekend. In a rare show of solidarity, Sony, Fox, Disney, and Universal will keep movie revenues quiet tomorrow. Yesterday, Warner Brothers announced it would forego the usual reports until Monday out of respect for the shooting victims and their families. Meanwhile, if you head out to the movies tonight, you'll probably notice more security here in Richmond. Police and sheriff deputies are patrolling at all the theaters. Officers say while you may be afraid to see Dark Knight Rises or other movies, it's important not to live in fear. The first debate of the Virginia Senate race was held today. One of the topics discussed, money. Republican George Allen argued Democrat Tim Kaine is tied to $500 billion of potential defense cuts that would hurt the Commonwealth. Meanwhile, Kane tagged Allen for voting for trillions in new federal spending during his earlier Senate term. We are back and a local farm has seen its biggest crop of corn ever. So starting tomorrow, the owners are giving it away for free. The Chesterfield Berry Farm Market says every customer 18 and over will get one dozen ears of super sweet corn. The offer lasts until Wednesday or until the corn's all gone. You can find the market at 4800 Market Square Lane in Midlothian. Tim, a lot of the farms we've seen this summer have looked like that, you know, dried out, but these guys are obviously benefiting from the weather. Yeah, we've been seeing a 